How are we all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well on this New Year's Eve. So I just thought I'd bring you into the workshop and do a few bits here as we bring out the end of the year. It's uh, just gone after 5 o'clock here. Um, so I'm having a cup of coffee out of the old mug, which is brilliant. And I thought we'd have a look at a couple of radios. An old Philips transistor first. And then secondly, we'll have a look at this Tesco radio that I was given recently, a RAD 107, we'll just look at that to see how crap it is, might be interesting, but first of all the Philips, so I'll bring the camera in to do the thing. Today by the way, the good lady came out and we spent three hours here clearing off the bench and cleaning the bench, so we're doing well. How long will it stay clean? I've already looked at those there. Probably not too long, but uh, I'm not trying to keep it clean. So we're just organising things here. Which is going to take a long time, but I've started now, so I'll keep going. Anyway, to the radio. Tried this a while ago. Um, batteries were in it, and. This had leaked batteries in it when I got it. These, these haven't leaked. But, um. It sounds very weak. Very weak indeed. So, we'll have a look at it. First of all, we'll check the batteries to see what they're like. It should be alright though. You can see there's an awful lot of crap in there from the batteries that were in it leaked. Bloody batteries. Leaking all the time. Uh, a message to ZX TV. You wrote a comment earlier on with a link to the American Radio History uh, website. Um, I can see the comment on my studio app that we have when you put videos up, but it's gone off the uh, it's gone off the actual video. I don't know why. Comments have been disappearing. I've noticed that. Um, so if you want to redo your link in this video, uh, you're more than welcome to. And thanks very much. Like 1.6, 1.5, 1 1.6. So we're all right in the battery department. So we'll uh, whip the back off. Perhaps an electrolytic has uh, given out. One screw. We need one screw holding together. It must be clipped for the rest. Ah, yes, there's a little slot there for you to open up. Oh, that's nice. They give you a little circuit diagram inside. Very nice. Why have you gone so quiet? Let's put the batteries back into it. We're getting plenty of stations all right, I can hear them very faintly. So the sensitivity isn't down. Well, the problem is when I bring it up to the phone, the phone interferes with it. Oh there. The battery wire just broke off from corrosion. Let's uh, resolve it at first, I suppose. Oh, 
Ooh, the corrosion's gone all the way up the wire. I think we'll have to replace that wire. Let's see how far up it's gone. The bloody corrosion is wicked all the way along the wire. I think we'll have to replace that. Because it's only on a rock in the long run. Alright, I'll pause it here and get the board out. Now with the board out, the negative lead is twice as long as it needs to be. For some reason they ran it under the speaker, all the way up to where the volume control is. And then had a torn in it, coming back through this bit of volume and all the way back down to the negative terminal. Which is a bit mad, so I propose, oh well, don't, it broke off that end as well. The corrosion must have gone all the way up to the very, up to the bar. Let's strip it there. Up near the top of the wall, yeah. Isn't that desperate? The corrosion has gone all the way up to the top, up all the way through the wire. Alright, we shall replace it. I kept this uh, switch and, and sockets out of uh, one of them computer connector switch box things because I thought the little bits of wire might come in handy. It's nice quality wire, and uh, sure enough, they will. So I wonder was the problem just that the wire had gone high resistance. And that was what was causing the radio to be low. Be handy if that's the case. Ah, oh, so you still want that? Special for New Year's Eve. Not a lot, I suppose. Can't go anywhere. Can't do anything. We're in full lockdown mode here at the minute again. Starting to wear a bit thin now. What can you do? Just have to put up with it. Simple is there? The bits of wire that broke off are stuck in the hole. There's a lead off a cap to try and poke them through. Hmm. Wait, right, give me a minute. Clean out the hole. We got the hole cleaned now. Oh, this is turning into a bit of a, a yawn fest in there. Right, what's that end doing? That's what the 
tripod sits so Uh, this radio was made in Singapore. And no doubt was considered a non service item by Philips. I'm put a bit of flux on that. I'll turn up the heat a bit. This is going to eat the heat. Wait, right. let's see if that was the cause of our problem. Oh, it sounds a lot louder, all right. And I'm only cutting myself. It does sound a bit louder, but not quite. Oh, I think I have. I know what's wrong. Look at the amount of corrosion on the headphone jack. I wonder is the switch. It's always the simple things, isn't it? Is the switch the problem? Set of headphones here, a bit of magic spray, and we'll plug it in and out a couple of times. And we could be flying then. We appear to have tidied away the magic spray. Hmm. That hurts. This in the note. Go on, you can do it. I think the, I think this is harder. Well, I'm never going to use this with headphones, so I know what I'm going to do next. You probably guessed it too. We link out the switch. Hmm. We link out the switch and we'll be laughing. Right, I think we should be in business now.
Well, I don't know if that was a big issue for healthcare workers the last time in terms of both crashes and schools being closed because they couldn't find childcare for their own children. So if that were to happen again, are we in any way better prepared to help nurses with childcare? Well, unfortunately we're not. We wrote to the HSD last evening. Most of the calls we received yesterday from members were from, from you know, as you know, the, the, the majority of, of uh, our members nurses are, are women and they have childcare responsibilities. And uh, sometimes it's just not possible to rearrange all of those arrangements within one week. And the goals play a big part in that for obvious reasons. Um, most of the calls we got yesterday were from uh, members who have those concerns. We wrote to the HSC and I wrote to um, Depart to government uh, today again, asking them to put provisions in place to allow people come to arrangements that don't, doesn't just penalise people who have family responsibilities and who cannot. Hey, we must all stay at home. essential reasons of work, education, and, and of course, all good news on the radio. station that is that's at the bottom of the long wave band it sounds like a bit of uh, the Luxembourg effect with the one one six three uh, time signal from Malou Hello 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 Alright, I said we'd have a look at this pile of crap here. Tesco Radio, Rad 107. So he see what he's all about. I was just interested, does this have a proper variable capacitor in it? Or is it one of these uh, software jobbers? Surprising thing is though, it takes two D cells, so I would imagine it would last a very long time on a set of batteries. Do do do. Yeah. It has got a proper variable capacitor in it. I don't know how old this is now, but um, couple of ceramic uh, resonators there. I think they are. There's a chip there. I wonder is that the 
That's probably the audio output chip. And then there's probably another chip up here down the, the radio bit. Hmm, there's not much in it. And disappointingly small uh, aerial. Anyway, I just thought I'd open that up for the crack. I'm uh, not gonna bother my arse doing nothing with that. Right, that's all that for this year. I'm doing no more out here today. I'm gonna go in now and have a bit of crack with the wife, who I must mention. Because this is when I say a few things now. Without the help of my good wife, none of this will be possible. Our continuing ongoing support. She helps me clean the shed and, and she does an awful lot of things uh, for me out here as well. She's, she is actually quite active uh, in my little hobby and she supports the whole YouTube thing and she watches all the videos and she uh, she's into the whole thing so I need to thank her very much. Now I want to thank all of you over the last year for watching my videos. Um, things can only get better uh, well with regard to this so hopefully we'll have a bit of fun here over the next year or two so um, yeah oh, fuck that A very happy new year to you all. Here's to the next one. Hopefully a bit better. Lovely. Right, good luck lads. See you next year.